Okay, for this video, we're going to talk about when you are given an endpoint and a midpoint, and I want you to find the other endpoint. So that is what we are doing for this. So let's say we're given the endpoint negative 7, positive 2. The midpoint of negative 3, positive 8. And I want us to find what is that missing endpoint. So to start with, I'm going to graph this problem here. So we're given negative 7, 2 as an endpoint. Our midpoint is negative 3, positive 8. And then I want to find wherever this other endpoint is going to be at. So to find this, let's think back to what the definition of a midpoint was. So the midpoint is the point that is exactly in the middle between two endpoints. So it shows that these two sides are the same. So it means whatever path I take to get to this midpoint, I have to repeat it to get to the other endpoint. So I am going to make those right triangles to help us with that. So if we are looking horizontal, remember our x's are horizontal. I add 4 to go from, remember we always travel left to right, so I add 4 and then I go up 6. So since the midpoint's in the middle, I have to keep that same pattern to get to this other endpoint here. So I'm going to add 4 and then I'm going to go up 6. So this would be the coordinates of our new endpoint. So it is 1, 14. So let's talk about, so here's the plus 6, and here's the plus 4. How to kind of see that algebraically without having to graph it. So this would be the answer, though, if you didn't catch on. So if I were to think about this kind of algebraically, yet still visual, here's my endpoint of negative 7, 2. Here's my midpoint of negative 3, positive 8. And I'm trying to find where is this other endpoint here. Okay, so that's what we're trying to find. So if I zoom in on this, I want to look at how do I get from negative 7 to negative 3. So we're trying to find this how far apart they are. So one, you can graph it and find out how far apart they are, or I could do negative 3 minus negative 7, which gives me positive 4. So that means I did negative 7 plus 4 to get to negative 3. So I'm going to do that same process. Negative 3 plus 4, which would give me positive, not negative, sorry, positive 1. So that would be how I would find, sorry, I use blue, that x-coordinate. Well, now we do the same thing for the y's. How do I get from 2 to 8? Well, I add 6. And again, you could do 8 minus 2, and that gives me positive 6. So now, to get over here, I need to add 6 as well. So 8 plus 6 gives me 14. So that is why the coordinates are 1, 14. All right, let's do another example. So I'll just make it up really quick. So let's say our endpoint is negative 5, 12. Our midpoint is negative 6 and 8. And what is our other endpoint here? So looking at my x's, I want to see how do I get from 5 to negative 6. So again, if you can think about it visually, you should see that we minus 1 or negative 6 minus negative 5. Well, when we combine that, that gives me negative 1. So now I need to subtract 1 from 6, or from negative 6. So negative 6 minus 1 would be negative 7. So then let's look at our y's. How do you get from 12 to 8? Well, if I do 8 minus 12, I should see that's negative 4. I'm minus 4. So now we're going to do 8 minus 4, which gives me 4. 
So the coordinates for the missing endpoint are negative 7, 4. Hopefully, this little video helps you find the missing endpoint.